first video with my Christmas decorations, which you probably can't even see actually, because it's on the highest one. Okay, that's a bad start. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or hi and welcome if you are new. So today I'm doing, um, I've done one before, and this is another highly requested one. So I've been again, it is, as you'll see from the title, another Manchester haul. When I say Manchester Hall, I mean like dodgy shops hall. If you're in England, then you've probably heard of Cheaton. Cheaton Hill is what I think it's called. Cheaton. So C-H-E-E-T-H-A-N Hill. Cheaton Hill. Basically, it's near Strangeways Prison in Manchester. I did get a few people messaging me last time and asking me. I don't know an actual postcode, so all I can say is I put in Strangeways Prison. Um, you'll see a McDonald's when you get there and then there's like, there's no other way to describe it other than there's a lot of dodgy looking shops and that is all I can really say. With a lot of dodgy looking guys hanging about outside and then lots of people going around and going in them like myself. <laughs> I'm not dissing because I love them shops. Anyway, so a lot of people wanted me to go back and um, do another haul which I wasn't just going to do for the sake of it but since it's Christmas, luckily... I could go back and get a few more bits, so I did do. Um, once again, there's quite a few Christmas presents what I'm about to show you, so I'm not going to go in and say who the for and what's what, but I can show you what I've bought anyway. Right, so, I've got four bags, and I'm literally, actually, literally, actually, I was just going to start going through and pulling them out, but the main thing that I want to show you, there's a bit of a story about this, because I wanted these last time I went, some trainers but the hundred pound literally hundred pound in the fake so but the real ones are 600 and something it is the Balenciaga triple s and I love these I'm in love with them but I just can't justify paying 600 pound on a pair of trainers like I'm sure you all film it on that one um anyway so they're all hundred pounds some places there was 120 pounds the time I went before no one was budging I went this time and I went, come on, best price, come on. Come on, best price. And you're like, all right, 90. Got yourself a deal there, baby hun. I know it's not much off and it's still 90 pounds for a pair of fake trainers, but wait till you see them. First of all, they come in a dust bag, just for the originality of it all. But it did have like a sticker on here which were a bit annoying because not that it's going to be a gift or anything like that but it basically said hi I'm fake. So if it is a gift you don't want to use this gift bag with it. But anyway. Um, now I love them. It's got on the inside. I have worn them by the way. They didn't come like this. I have worn them before this video because Whoa, it even says underneath. Can you see it's like standing out as well? And then inside as well, it's got it there. So as I say, quite a few shops had these in. Most shops were 100, some 110, some 120. If you go to the right shop, ask best price, then you might get them for 90. It might have been, I might have just caught them on a happy day or it might be willing to go down now. I don't know. But I paid 90 for these and I have to admit, I love them. They do make me look like I've got clown shoes on. <laughs> Honestly, when I, I might show you at end actually. If you want to see them at the end, stay tuned and I'll show you what they look like. Because they look massive on my feet. I mean, I'm only size 5 huns. Look, it's even taken up like my full, my full camera screen. And I'm only size 5. So they're clunky and I trip up over my own feet in them. But I love them, so I do actually want the black ones, but I can't afford to spend any more money on myself before Christmas. But the black ones are my next ones, I think. So anyway, that's the first thing. Balenciaga Triple S trainers should be 100, got them down to 90. Next. So next, oh, Calvin Klein underwear set. Would you call this underwear? It's the bra and the matching leggings. Um, it is in grey, and I'm size 14, so I've gone XL, because, huns, you need to remember, this is China sizing. So, like, 
if you're 14, really we should be having XXXXL, but since all they do is XL, we'll go with that. Should we have a, a look at seeing how big we think it is, or actually how small we think it is? Right, moment of truth. Oh my God. <laughs> That's not a good start, is it? It stinks. It stinks a bit. Oh, that's all right. That looks all right. This actually looks like it, it will fit. Um, I don't know how to show you. That actually looks like it will fit, to be honest. And also, the embroidery is really good. So that's a bonus. That one looks good. Let's see about the leggings. I don't even look. These are probably going to be Christmas presents. There was for me. Oh, I don't know, actually. Look at that stretch, yes. That's got some stretch. Um, I'm assuming the like short three quarter lengths. If not, they're just short legged. Um, but that'll do, cause obviously it's just for house anywhere, jammers or just to wear around the house. Um, and I think that's a good set actually, a good deal. And that was £10 for that deal, and I think that's actually really good. Um, like I said, up size your sizes. Up size your sizes. Up size your size. <laughs> I've no idea what I'm on about, but you know what I'm on about. Uh, just because they are really small sizing. Um, this might just fit, so fingers crossed that fits. Then, this is Christmas present for someone in particular. And it's a MAC, MAC makeup box. Now, I know what you're all thinking, makeup, it's fake, it's gonna be bad for skin, but it's actually just to play with. So, let me show you. Ooh. Um, so you've got like a brush holder, a mirror, you've got two powders, um, eyelashes, Blusher, pencil sharpener, lipstick, eyeliner, mascara, pots of glitter. Oh my God, there's a makeup brush holder here as well. <gasps> oh my God. Another eyeliner. Oh my God. Some nails, I mean, not sure about them. But everything else looks banging. I'm not even kidding. Shut up. Wait there, let me show you this. Oh my god, there's all sorts. An eyeshadow palette. Wait there. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm actually in love with this set. Like I say, it's just for someone to mess about with as opposed to like eyeing it every day and you know, stuff like that. I'm really pleased with that. All this and the box, £20. And they had different style... Oh, I can't even close it now. Anyway. They had different style boxes as well. So I got that one and my friend got that one. And I think there were two other different style ones. But for £20 and it's filled with MAC makeup bags. Okay. The last one from this bag is something else I wanted at the time I went before. If you remember, I got the... Um, little black rucksack, the Louboutin one with the spikes. If you watched it, then you'll probably know which one I mean. But I actually wanted the little Louis Vuitton one. But when I saw that one, I'm like, oh God, I need that one now. So I went and got the one that I actually wanted first time. I'm up I'm making sense. I know what I'm on about. I hope you all do. Anyway, there it is. It's not the last thing in that bag, as it happens. There's the little rucksack. So it's got this on. I don't know what that's for. It's got the little tag there. Um, it's same as my Louboutin one with the little hooks here and your tag. Let me just see if it's got the straps in, darling. Yep, it's got the straps in. Oh God, even the straps have got, um, wait there, I've got to show you this. Even the straps have got the little the Louis Vuitton stamp, like kind of engraved in straps. But my other one, I kind of just use these two and I put it like around there. So this one I'm actually gonna use. Oh, oh, bloody hell. 
So this one I'm going to use as an actual little backpack. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. Um, it's good quality. This is inside. And that one was £25. Um, again, make sure you go around all the shops because... This were coming up at like 40 in a lot of places actually. So just keep asking for the best price. And I also say like, well it's cheap around there. So they're like, all right then go on. There's a little tip for you there. So when I thought there was nothing left in and there is, it is a phone case, um, a Louis Vuitton phone case. And it's got the, um, is it a ring pull? Am I thinking of a, a can of Coca-Cola? Anyway, it's got that thing on it. Just basic phone case, Louis Vuitton. Now this was £10, or I did say two for £15, but I only needed the one, so um, £10. But I think that's cheap just for phone case anyway. Right, next. Come on, let's power through this Manchester haul. Oh, remember this one. Stocking fillers. So we've got, what, which ones did I get last time? Did I get Calvin Klein socks in the last one? Anyway, I've got Armani ones this time. Look at them. Wait, let me open these because these are proper good, hun. I'm not even kidding. Wait there. Oh my god, I can't believe these. So, there's lots of. Let's see. Um, three different, three or four different designs of Armani socks. That's the first one, which I think is a really good one. And then look at these. These look expensive. Even, do you know what? If you go to Sainsbury's just for a pair of socks, it's more than 10 for £10 just at Sainsbury's. And look at the quality of these. Even as the stamp there. I'm impressed with them. They're 10 pairs. 10 pairs for £10 and the proper good stocking fillers. So stock up on them. Right. So this one I'm a little bit peed off about. I don't know why, it's my fault because I didn't look at it properly in the shop. But it's just like, is it called a wash bag? Where it's like, I don't know, but I thought, obviously it's like a Gucci looking one. But I thought it was actually a good Gucci looking one. And it's not. It says G and D. Can you see that? G and then it's a D. No one wants GD huns. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm stuck with it. It was £10. And I will use it because it looks nice and it's good to keep passports in and travel documents when you're travelling and I think that's what I will use it for. Like I say, a bit gutted but I'll still use it and it will only tenner. Uh, totally hit my nose then. Next, I have these, um, I, whoa, shit, it's so sad. Whoa, God. So about that. Um, Adidas leggings, I've got these ones from JD Sports. Oh my god, it's not even JD Sports no more, is it? It's just JD. Anyway, I have these from JD's. And I think they are, I believe, they're between 25 and 30 pounds. I can't quite correctly remember. That's a long mouthful. Um, anyway, these were 10 pound and I had the right good looks. I'm not actually after any more, but I had the right good look. And I'm like, do you know what? These look just like the ones from JD's. They've looked like they're my size, which is really weird because we've spoke about China sizes, haven't we? And these actually look like UK sizes, real sizes for real women. And look at that embroidery there. That's proper good embroidery. I'm really pleased with these. Um, and they were tenor. They did have other colours. Um, they had like some red ones, which are, I don't really own anything red. I'm not a red kind of gal. Um, but if they your thing, they've got red ones and they were £10. Next. Oh my God. And just like that, we're on to the last bag. Flying through. Right, we'll do these quickly. A few other little bags. Adidas t-shirt. Should we open it up? Let's have a look at the full effect, eh? These were a bargain. You won't even believe it when I tell you the price of these. Oh, shit. Oh! Everything's going everywhere. Oh my days, look at that. You ready? A fiver. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, can we just take a minute? Five pounds. That's a small men's, and it looks very small, as in age 11 small. 
So again, if you're a guy or if you want to buy for a guy, I'd open them up. Open the plastic bags up on and see what sizes you're after just to make sure. They're all right with it. They're fine you're opening and having a look. They don't have a problem with that. Or at least I didn't find they did. And then the other one's another t-shirt, which I've got a small. And this is the Armani one. Can we have a look again? Let's open up and have a look at this one. Yeah, again, same size, they're small, but I mean, she fits like age 11, but it'll do for who I want it for anyway. And again, that was five pound. Manchester coming through. I think we're at the end now. Oh no, two more things. Two more things. Um, this purse. Now there's a little story about this. So it was 20 pounds. And the guy would not move, he was like, no, it's 28, it's the best quality, that's what they say, best quality, it's 20 pound. But my friend bought a handbag, I think, um, and she got a purse as well, so like, if she buys them two, can I have some money off this? And they're like, 15 pound then. <laughs> so when my friend buying stuff, she's like, thanks, I'm not even getting discount, and I'm like, thanks baby hun. Um, if you're watching this, thanks baby hun. <laughs> um, so it was 20, I got it for 15. But wait till you see this. Oh my god, cat cup. We don't want this tons, we don't want that. Look at this. Oh my god. You've got your money bit. Your card bit. Oh god, I love it. Do you know how long I've been wanting to use this purse and I just can't because I'm waiting to show you the video. The Balenciaga's I had to cripple into. But this I've waited. But I love it. So, £20. I got it for 15 and then this is the very last one now. And I did see them before and I wasn't sure, but then when I went this time, I like sold. It is a Coco Chanel candle set. Scented candle, look at this. I mean, it just looks beautiful, doesn't it? So we've got the Coco Chanel perfume scented candle. And I'm not actually sure what this is. It says it's perfume, but I don't know if I'd actually spray it on myself. Do you know what I mean? Might be like more a room spray as opposed to perfume. Right there. <laughs> wow, that smells just like it. That's crazy. I can't even believe that. Anyway. God, that's a good, strong smell. I'm not even kidding. This was a gift, but I'm probably going to end up keeping it. I do it every time. Anyway, it's a tenner. I really want it. £10 Coco Chanel perfume and the candle. Oh wait, we haven't smelled what candles like. I didn't smell it in the shop either, it just looked good. Oh, I'm not sure I want candle smell. It smells a bit like salt. Might smell good when it's burning. You'll, you'll see it behind there like next video or something because I'll just be keeping it. But, like I say, £10, what do you want, huns? That's a bargain. And I'm pleased I got it. I just wish I'd have got a few more for presents. And, and that's it. That is the end of my second Manchester dodgy market, dodgy shops, whatever, haul. Um, I might end up going again before Christmas. I'm not sure. If I do, it's probably to just buy some more of these. Um, so it's pointless coming on and showing you all that. Um, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me and I will try and answer them for you. Um, and if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. It really means the world to me. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.